What's going on, everybody? We got another course vlog for you. It is men's night at Chilliwack Golf Club. Guys, let me know in the comments below if you're liking these men's night videos. I think I'm going to keep doing them the rest of the season, so let me know. Uh, first hole here is a par 5. We hit a pretty solid drive there. We had 275 left to the pin here, and we just roped a little 3 wood, which didn't cut as much as I would like, but that's fine. Uh, leaves us with this chip in to the first green. Uh, took a little bit of a weird left kick, but ultimately... Not a problem because we are going to convert this to start one under. Not bad. Hole number two, I tried to hit a big push cut here. Wind was going down and I thought I could really take advantage of it. And uh, instead, I just pushed the absolute crap out of it. Luckily, it went high enough and right enough to go over the trees. And so I had 171 to the pin and just decided to clamp down on an eight iron because, again, it's downwind. There's, you're going to see there's a bunker left of the green. It, you know, if I took any more club, it kind of brought some danger in there. Um, ending up in the front here leaves us with a nice little opportunity to two putt and get out of here with a par, which we will do. And honestly, I'm kind of pumped. I normally make mistakes on the first two holes here, so kind of nice to uh, be one under. Now, hole three, this is a longer par three. Because uh, of the way the wind was coming off the right, I was thinking I could go for a big draw. Did not end up going as planned. But it's still better to be over here than it is to be left in that bunker. Trust me, I've done that, and it sucks. Um, what also sucks was that chip, because I thought for sure that was going to kind of take the slope a little bit, and I guess not. I, I need to play here more than I do. I don't have as much local course knowledge as I probably should, so definitely going to brush up on my skills. And if you guys like these videos, I'll probably keep doing men's nights here, so let me know. Um, going to tap this in for bogey. Unfortunately, the next hole, probably one of the best swings of the day, short par four, it was playing 136 yards, and I stuck it to here. This ended up being uh, good enough to win the KP on the hole, which is pretty sick. And I made the birdie. So pretty solid. Unfortunately, didn't have the swing because I guess I wasn't recording, but that's annoying. But anyway, we we're back to one under. And this is hole five, par five. Basically got to play a draw here. And I had this left to a back pin. And the way this green is shaped, you know, the pin, when it's in that back left, it's a bit of a sucker pin because you don't have a lot of green to land it. So I was kind of going a little more right. I just didn't carry enough. So we end up in this bunker. And just trying to chase it up to that back ledge where the pin is. Um, hit it okay, but just didn't chase up there as much as I would have liked, which is fine. We have this left to hopefully make birdie. We're going to just miss it on the high side. You know what? Tap-ins are always welcome. Next hole, we have the drivable sixth hole. And we are going to just hook the crap out of it left. Trying to implement that new footwork, and yep, that's uh, that's not it. That is not it. So we're three off the tee, pounding four iron down there, which leaves us with a nice little smooth wedge here. There's a slope right of the pin that I try and hit it over this bunker and land it on that slope to kind of carry it down to the pin. And unfortunately, just did not release as much as I thought it would. Uh, this putt, again, just so close to kind of getting up and down for bogey there, but we're going to tap in for double. And we go from one under to one over. Hole number seven. Tried to really fade this one because I always end up along that tree line. No matter how hard I try, I always end up there. So it was kind of nice to not end up over there. However, uh, I during this men's night, it was lift clean in place. I did not lift clean in place on this one and made the price for it because that was a mud ball and not the greatest swing. So a combination of both, not great. Now we got to get up and down from here. And we left ourselves with actually a decent look to get up and down for par with that chip. But we like pain. And that is pain. Yeah. Love to see that. So we bogey that one, which uh, puts us to two over. Hole number eight, rip driver. Pretty good and pretty standard. No complaints there. We are now 92 yards to the front pin. And just flared this a touch. Front pin and just ends up just short. Not ideal. So we're going to bump and run. Get it up there. Left us with a little bit of a putt still. You know, these greens, these greens are good. They're good. Like, they make me better because I normally don't putt very well here. But I'm actually kind of pumped I haven't three putted yet. Hole number nine here. Par five. Just straight away. Send big dog. 
And that was actually a pretty good drive. Can't complain there. We had 181 left to the pin, and we do not take advantage. Just flared this one out. As you can see, my swing is just not not there today. Like it's it's a it's a bag of something. It's a bag of trash. I don't know what it is, but it's not great. However, this bump and run, I I do like that. And this nestled up nice and close, which left us with this for birdie. And we'll take it. So, you know, approach wasn't great, but that's great. Uh, hole number 10, three wood, was cake on this one. Very pumped with this thing. This was probably the next best swing after that par three that I had um, in terms of quality of swings. Had this wedge in there and drove it. I thought I hit it great and just ended up a bit short. Did not release and just checked back. Had this putt and can't complain. Like, decent lag, just... Nothing's really going close to the hole. Not really converting any of the opportunities. So, it is what it is. Hole number 11, we got another par 5. And I went for the low bullet because this was very much into the wind. And I instead went with the low hook. Um, didn't have the greatest lie options here. So, we just hit a punch hybrid. And I tried to hit like a low flighted wedge. And ended up just hitting a low stupid line drive through the green. Which is... Sick. Love to see that. Which, again, short-sided ourselves and tried to hit a little bump and run up here. No check. All release. Sick. Love that. So this is great. So now we have this for par, which is awesome. And we're going to miss that because the break is not going to catch it. So we leave a par 5 with a bogey, which is always um, a tough feeling. But that actually felt better than this next swing. Which I hit this so fat, I don't know what the, f I don't know what happened. Tried to hit a punch eight iron through the wind, and we ended up hitting this into the hazard. So we drop, and now I'm trying to hit a little bullet low checker wedge in there to get up and down for bogey, and we are not going to get up and down for bogey, and we are going to rack up one more double because let's go. So love that. Hole 13, we got another par 5, thankfully. Smoke driver did not go left, thankfully. And thankfully, it uh, missed the bunker. So we have a clean look. And we hit a full 8 because I wanted some redemption from that last 8 iron. And thankfully, we got it. Gave us this look for Eagle, which kind of was tracking until it wasn't. But... That leaves us with this to clean up for birdie, and we managed to do that. So we go from four over to three over, which is, you know, not bad considering the double. Hole 14 here, seven iron just in the middle of the green. Pin was on the right, and right, short-sided on that pin would have just been absolutely horrific. So that left us with this putt, and again, another one of these putts that looks like it's tracking the whole way and just never, never goes in. So... That's fine. Um, hole 15. Just hit iron to lay up here. There's a creek up front, as you guys are going to see. So you can go for it. You can lay up. I figured, you know, laying up was probably the better choice. Tried to hit a low bullet, like not bullet wedge, but a, a driver spin wedge in there because there's a backstop into this pin. Like this is the worst spot to be in right here because I tried to hit it off this backstop up close to the pin. And instead, I end up here. And I thought this was going to then take it down because just past this pin, it f can basically run off the entire green. So I either have to make this putt or I potentially risk the ball completely running off the green. Thankfully, I make it. Best part of the day by far. Hole 16, just trying to hit the nice big old high fade. Uh, overcook it a touch, but that's fine. It curves around the tree and ends up just, uh, just on the right rough, which leaves us with, I think, 109. To this pin and honestly i thought i clipped this good i thought this was this was gonna be great and uh ended up short but that's fine we're just gonna a little bump and run in there and uh get a little bump action from one of my playing partners balls and we're gonna tap that in for a par so we are three over going into hole 17 and we're gonna flare this we're gonna flare flare it flare it so that's awesome and this is even better. We just completely stubbed that chip. Nice little club toss. Good for the morale. So this is where the uh, the wheels start to fall off the bus, everyone. We're going to then 
look up early to that putt and pull it. And at least we're going to get away with a bogey here. So we're four over going into hole 18. Trying to hit another one of those bullet fades under the wind. And instead, we snap it into the trees, which is just phenomenal. Love that. Great feeling. And now we have a very long way to get to the green from here. And so I hit a three wood. Very good. No cut whatsoever, which is very odd considering the ball was below my feet. And end up in a very tough spot to get up and down uh, for bogey because I have to basically punch it to here. Um, and it gets caught in the rough. So now I have this to get up and down for bogey. And I don't carry it far enough. And it rolls out. So now I miss that. And we tap in for a double. So we go three over on the last two holes to finish at six over. And you know what? This was a good indication of kind of what a very bad round is for me. You know, you guys see me post, you know, my 12 hole challenges and things like that. But then you'll see me talk on the podcast about tournaments and I'll have these weird blow ups or these weird holes or these weird rounds. And I would say this is the an accurate depiction of kind of what happens. You know, I, there's a lot of uncommitted swings. There's some poor technique issues. There's, there's just a whole host of things. And I'm really glad I filmed it because I need to learn what happens to me in this environment that just for some reason is not the same as, as kind of the other rounds where I'm really attacking and swinging committed. So unfortunate to kind of make these mistakes, but at the same time, that's what this is for. It's just annoying because, you know, it, one of my one of my things is if you ever read the book Atomic Habits, we don't rise to the level of our goals, we fall to the level of our systems. And so clearly the systems I have in place are just still not at the standard they need to be for my goal. And I need to continue to work on that and continue to build upon that in order to get to where I want to go. Um, with that being said, you know, for being probably the worst I can play, this is not that horrific. Um but relative to my goal, yeah, pretty horrific. Um, on the plus side, I don't think I had any three putts. So normally at this place, I putt horrifically. And so it was kind of nice to think we found a bit of a rhythm. Um, and who knows, maybe, you know, on a better day, I get lucky and some of those kind of lag putts that were really close kind of drift my way into the hole and help me out. But with that being said, you know, I can't have the putter bailing me out it's there's some ball striking things and some tech overall technique things and some commitment things to swings that definitely need to get fixed and that's going to be working on next so hope you guys enjoyed this i'm really liking this men's night series if you guys like them please let me know in the comments and i will continue to do this throughout the entire summer men's night season so oh and one more thing i forgot uh so despite the fact that this was kind of a horrific round um, I ended up third on the guest low gross. So there's the member low gross and then there's the guest low gross. So I ended up in third place and won some money there, won some money for the KP. So a little bit of revenue doesn't hurt. Put it back in the pot for some more men's nights and uh, to make more videos for you guys. So with that, hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you on the next one.